Hi, my name is Eddie Jackson Jr. and this is Real True Street Crime. Let me take you back to one when I was a little kid. I went to sleep one night, I woke up the next morning, goddamn, my father had stacked a million dollars in front of me. My bed was here and all, the, my, the, everything in front of me was stacked high, it was a million dollars stacked in front of me in street money. Ones, five, ten, twenties, hundreds, fifties, everything. Okay, and he had this shit stack up, so I wake up that morning, and I say, uh, God damn, what the fuck, what is this, Pops? You know, I said, you know, Dad, what's this? You know, where, where all this money come from? And my father woke up, came in there in his pajamas, and actually in his drawers, and wife beater, had on a pair of drawers, and wife beater came in there. His usual self-talking shit. Now, he had on his wall... He had on his wife beaters and his drawers. These was matching silk. Now, the wife beater was silk, and the drawers were silk, and he had on his diamond ring, and now this motherfucker was huge. He walks in the bedroom. He said, hey, baby, I did that. I want you always to want money. You understand? You see this? I did this to make you want money. You understand? Then I'm a little boy out there. I say, and then he said, I tell you what. Sit down and count me out $100,000. I said, what? He said, sit down and count me out $100,000. I said, okay, I'll do it. Now, mind you, I really didn't know how to count $100,000 at seven years old, but fuck it, I'm going to take the chance just to say I know how to do it. So I grabbed some piles, sat down, and I went to counting. And I'm counting, you know, 20, 40, 6. He come over there and looked at me and said, hold on, hold on. Let me show you how to count so you always know how to count money. You count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. No matter what the nomination is, if you're using 100, you know, 10 hundreds is 1,000, he would always get, go to it, you understand? So he always counted any dime, denomination of money, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, because he would stack all denominations of money by themselves, all 20s, all 10s, all 5s, all 100s, all 50s. And when he count, he just count one, he just rolled it off like that, and you know his finger was cut off. I remember this one time we was out at Steve Harper. And Steve Harper had finished capping off one of my father's Cadillacs. And there was a guy out there that was a salesman. He looked at my fat man. He said, fat man, Eddie Jackson, he said, ain't no man in the world count money like you. He understand? And this is a guy who worked at Steve, worked for Steve Harper painting the cars and capping off my father's cars. And, you know, my father was always a big tipper. He going to go and tip a nigga $1,000 and roll him off on you. Not like a bank teller, you understand? You understand? So why the white guy looked at some boy and he showed could count some money so goddamn sweet. Boy, I ain't never seen another motherfucker count money like you before. Fast forward, when my father got out of jail, we walked in Woods Mercedes Benz dealer on Gratiot and motherfucking 8 Mile. Okay, we walk in the woods. This is where the Benz dealer was. We walk in the woods. Now, the same guy that used to work for Steve Harper is working for Mercedes Benz. Now, Matter Jack was our salesman, and this guy was striping the car. So when my father went back, he striping the car. And when my father went back, he looked at my father. He, he already knew who he was, but when my father pulled out the money to tip him, he said, hey, but one man in the world that count money like that, you Eddie Jackson, you understand? He seen the same guy who used to cap his cars off as Steve Harper's when he got out of prison. He seen him out at Woods, Mercedes Benz dealer out on ground because it was the only Benz Woods Benz was the only one in Detroit. It was the only Mercedes Benz dealer in Detroit. So if you bought a Benz, you bought it from Woods because it was the only one right there on Grass and Eight Mile where CVS sits in the spot of where Woods used to be. My father bought three or four Benz when I was a kid. He bought a red two seater from Woods. Then he bought a 450 photo all silver from Woods. Then he bought a brown photo 450 all silver from Wood. Then when he got out of jail, he bought a 500 SEC two door coupe from Woods. So my father bought all his Benzes from Woods. That was the place to buy Benz back then. Woods don't exist anymore. It's CVS now. So, you know, that's just stories from my fat man day and how when he was getting money and used to do. And I'm going to get you some of them pictures from Steve Harper and them cap, cap cars by the fat man and how tough Steve Harper used to cap these cars off. He was a hell of a finisher, put stashes in your car. All of that is what Steve Harper used to do. And I hear he branched out and 
told the story. I see if I can hear from him. Steve Harper told the story on how he was getting down and doing things. And he was the one that used to cap the fat man cars. So you might want to hear Steve Harper's story because you'll probably hear something about the fat man in him. So shout out to Steve Harper. Peace and love. Love the way you used to cap the fat man's caddies and rolls and all of them all. So a shout out to Steve Harper. I hope you're still around. Peace and love and happiness to all. This is Eddie Jackson, Real True Street Crimes. And as I always say to y'all, everything the fat man did was over the top. Any time the fat man went out, he went out to blow a motherfucker's mind. And that's what my father used to say. I'm going to blow a motherfucker's mind. You understand? When I come in here, I'm going to blow a motherfucker's mind. Because it's going to be rare they see a motherfucker do this in lifetime come in here. You understand? So the fat man always made it a point, wherever he go, to blow a motherfucker's mind. That was his big thing, to blow a motherfucker's mind. So... You would never forget Eddie Jackson once you met him. That was his motto. A motherfucker ain't never going to forget me. You understand? And he loved doing that. So this is Eddie Jackson Jr., Real True Street Crime. This is my ice cold shake tea. Put it in a cold bottle of water. Shake it up. Drink it. It'll help suppress your appetite with a little exercise. And as I always say, thank to all of y'all who spent any money with me. Thank you to everybody who went to my link, who hit shot who hit categories, who went to health and wellness and got my cream. This is my Alleviate Cream. It alleviates all the pain. Rub it on there, and it'll help alleviate them aches and pains. And these are also my CBD Harmony Drops. Drop two under your tongue, let them sit for 60 seconds, and swallow. It's a wonderful CBD product. Both of those are. And as I've been saying to y'all, we got a wonderful energy peel in that will give you a boost. It is an excellent energy peel. Take a look at my link, and I'm sure you'll like it if you try it. But as I say, and as I always will say, our motto here is we have a five-day, five-challenge. Lose five pounds in five days. It's a total life challenge, and life is good. This is Eddie Jackson Jr., Real True Street Crime saying go to Facebook and take a before look and after look at my pictures of using Ice T. Like, subscribe, and share. I appreciate you all. Peace and love. Like, subscribe, and share. Thank you all.